Okay. Well, welcome everyone to our cutting edge webinar series. I'm going to open the chat box here so we can see people as they message in the people that have registered on the Zoom website for this live Zoom call. Cutting edge webinar series, business by the numbers. So hi, I'm Judy Goss. You may know me as the TV host of Behind the Gates or the radio show host of What Women Want Talk Radio. But tonight we are talking about my company, What Women Want Networking. And we are going to have a national conference, October 19th through the 21st, What Women Want National Conference. And I'm so excited this year because we have so many incredible speakers. Deborah Daniel is with me on the line. She's a financial expert, owner of Charter Accounting. She has over 25 years of experience. And she's one of our leading presenters at the What Women Want Conference this year in October. And she's going to hold a breakout session called Business by the Numbers. And the theme of our conference is Go Big. So what I decided to do was have our speakers on webinars every week or two, every week or two. I think we have David Bear next week as well. And it's a preview of who you're going to meet at the conference and what they're going to talk about. And not only that, if you happen to just not go to the conference, you know, Deborah has some amazing information that we're going to smash into these 30 minutes. So I'm excited to have her. You have over 25 years of accounting experience, excuse me. <laughs> and Deborah, can, I'd just love to give um, a little bit of background about, you know, what your experience has been and, and what you're all about. Sure, I love that because I think people really need to know who they're listening to a lot of the time. On some of these things, was there a background in that? I hope there's not. Um, I feel here a little feedback, but um, but I basically I've been doing this my whole life. I mean, 25 years. I mean, I was out of college for a little while before I started my firm, but I've been in in numbers ever since then. Owning a CPA firm, you deal with everything. You're kind of dealing with taxes. You're dealing with bookkeeping. You're dealing with payroll. You're dealing with is this person an employee or is this person a contractor? How do I all the things we don't want to deal with. <laughs> Exactly. Well, and also too, am I set up right? You know, because that's really, I mean, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but I mean, um, that's really where the whole business by the numbers thing comes from to me, because I feel like just myself, I mean, I, I do a lot of networking, you know, I'm out and about and I love hanging with the, the ladies down here in Atlanta with what women want and everything. But there's a lot of talk about sales. There's a lot of talk about networking. There's a lot of talk about, oh, let's do Facebook Live. The problem to me as a person who's been doing this for 25 years, and there's not too many people out there that have owned businesses for 25 years, um, is I see people building what I feel kind of on a, a platform of, of quicksand. I mean, all that stuff is great. And yes, we need to focus on sales. And yes, we need to have the best marketing. But the problem is if you're building on basically a, a you know, no foundation, what is the point of that? I, I was talking to someone the other day about it and I was like, it, it would kind of like be paying, playing, pin the tail on the donkey and taking the tail to the wrong wall in the room. I mean, that's <laughs> what, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're not yes. even, you're not even, there's no way you can hit the donkey, but you know, right. because you're, you're, you're just built, you're doing all this great stuff, which is totally great. And then they're mad at the people that have sold them those services or mm -hmm. told them to do that, but it's not their fault. The strategy is sound. The problem yeah. is you're building well, it on the wrong background. Right, exactly. And that's why we have you here today, because I feel like what you have to teach is so basic, but so many people don't know about it, right? I mean, right. I, myself, my, my family business went bankrupt several years ago, and, you know, I watched our family financially collapse. You know, and, and through rebuilding and, and building What Women Want Networking, and of course, through my other career, TV hosting also, and, and you know, radio hosting, I've learned the basics, and, and I've learned, more importantly, how important they are. You know, mm -hmm. and what and what someone like you, what role you have in our life. And I know we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to look at the numbers, and we don't want to get into the details and all that and the nitty gritty. But like you said, it's the find foundation that we're creating and I can't wait honestly for you to speak at the conference and just have it all out in person and in every detail it's going to be fantastic 
Well, it's, it's really exciting. And I'm hoping, I mean, I know we're going to have a great crowd. I was there at the conference last year and I really was like, oh my gosh, this is an amazing group. I want I want to be more involved with it. Yeah, and so I, far we have three times as many women signed up than last excellent, year. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> well, and it's early too. I mean, yeah. you know, I know I run events myself and people want to wait till the last minute. So if we've got a lot of registrations. We're, we're going to be great in October. But I kind of set an intention when I was in that room. I'm like, I want to speak at that conference next year because these are some amazing women. Oh, and thank you. I, I mean, if there, if people that are listening aren't registered, they need to get on there and register. Oh, um, speaking of which, we only have less than 30 hours left for our hundred dollars off discount code, and in 30 hours the price is going up. Oh wow! So I just want to announce that first of all, we're going to give the discount code after we're finished here. Um, it says go to what women want comp and sign up and get your ticket before tomorrow night at midnight. But I just want to put that out there. You know, you're running out of time there. <laughs> yeah, deal at whatever price, but if you can get it for less, I, I mean, that's that's one of my well, mantras. Thank you. I mean, totally. I, I mean, I'm sitting here with a, a numbers person. I have to like let you guys know. <laughs> so you're going to save money if you sign up before tomorrow night. <laughs> I mean, so let's really start for right I mean you know yeah. there, there's a lot of it I mean life isn't about money and I say this a lot of the time to my clients I'm like life isn't about money but business is unless well not it sh ourselves. certainly is about money if you ignore the money part right exactly I mean let's not kid ourselves this I mean yes we want it we have a purpose and yes we want to serve and yes all that that, that great stuff but you can't be an impact if you can't keep your lights on so right. let's focus on the foundations on the basics so that we can do that and I mean, really, it's cash flow is king when it comes right down to it. I mean, I love a profit and loss just like everybody else. But, you know, I've seen businesses and, and maybe this was the case with your family's business that went out of business that have great financials. Maybe you weren't looking at them, but they go out of business because they're not turning their inventory over fast enough or their payables are too big or people owe them too much and they're not focusing on on yeah, that well, information. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, for us, it was basically the recession. Mm -hmm. Right. We didn't have padding. It's my it's my husband's business and it's uh, retail. So mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, companies got hit like that. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we have someone like you, you know, to give us the basics. So something like that, you know, won't happen in the future because that may not be the last recession that we lived through. So exactly. I'd like I mean, to start with you keep talking about the important numbers. And, you know, what what are the important numbers? What are you talking about there? To me, the most important numbers that I focus on are really one is net income because the sales is great and everybody wants to focus on sales, but is there really any profit? I mean, what's the good of having a million dollars in sales and at the end your profit is 50,000? That's, mm -hmm. you know, that doesn't really, you know, something's going on there. And then related to that is then cash flow, which I, is even more important to me than, than net income. I mean, they're related, obviously, but to me, cash flow. I mean, you know, what goes in, what comes out? I mean, we want more cash flow in our business. That's what it comes down to. If you've got cash flow, you obviously must have some profit, right? So those are, um, let's see, it's those numbers. Oh gosh, there's so many of them that I like to focus on. But I mean, to me, cash flow is the most important. What are your revenue numbers looking like? Um, and, th and then once you've got all the numbers, it's, it's, after that, to me, that the real juicy part kind of comes in, like what is your cost of acquisition of a client? You don't even know that if you're not looking at your, at your numbers. So you don't know if that next, you know, great shiny object marketing thing makes sense because you don't even know, hey, what, what really is this going to contr contribute to my business? Um, and so why is that important to know the cost of everything that you're creating? Well, because the thing is, I mean, what is the good of selling something for $80 if it costs you $100 to get it? I mean, that's kind of a backwards way to go. Mm -hmm. And I see people doing that or they're killing themselves spending 80 hours in their job, in their business, trying to avoid, the, um, you know, a 40 hour gig, you know, where they're getting paid and they're going, they're spending 80% of their time chasing what makes 20% of their revenue. If you could figure out what's your most profitable thing, that's what you should be selling. But if you're not looking at the numbers or if you're doing what a ton of clients have done over the years, I mean, I've been doing taxes for 25 years. I've done thousands of tax returns. Um, they bring me their stuff in March or April and they, or whoever they bring their accounting stuff to you. And that's the first time they've even looked at the numbers. Well, if we do, if I do say, okay, well, not only is your tax return, but let's look at what your financials look like. That stuff is, you know, 14, 15 months old. I mean, that doesn't do you any good. If you're the most important numbers are the numbers you're looking at every day, really, when it comes down to it, mm -hmm. is you've got to look at it contemporaneously or what really good are they, right? Totally. Now, how do we make all of this less of a burden? 
Well, because it, it sounds it, so it, tedious and it sounds so tiresome. And really, I mean, someone like me, um, it isn't that talented in how to break this all out, right? Oh, I get it. I get it. I mean, cause I, I, honestly, I mean, cobbler, you know, fix your own shoes. I mean, the last ones that I like to look at are my own just because I'm busy doing everybody else's. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, there are so many cool apps. There are so many, everything is so easy now. I mean, 25 years ago, this was a pain. I mean, you, you barely, I and mean, we were still doing T sheets and, you know, green ledger sheets and stuff 25 years ago. I mean, um, now, I mean, with, software like QuickBooks Online and stuff like that. I mean, you could take a picture of your of your information and it's all stored there and you're not piled up with all this paper and everything. You've got bank feeds that are pulling in and putting the stuff right away. I mean, you know, Frank, whether it's me or somebody else, honestly, the actual gathering of the data, the putting it into some kind of a system like into QuickBooks or whatever you want to use, is probably not the best use, certainly not the best use of, of someone like you to do yourself. But you want that to be to be accumulated so that you can actually say, okay, what does this really mean? But if you have to spend all the time gathering it up and figuring it out, you'll never spend the actual good time, which is what does this mean? Right. You see the difference there between the gathering of the data and the actually interpretation of the data? Yeah. Um, you can have all the information in front of you, but if it's in Greek, then <laughs> you're not going to be able to read it. Not, if it takes you all the time that you possibly can allocate towards the financial part of your business, mm -hmm. then you're not going to take the time to actually you know, look at them and see what they are. If all you're doing is reconciling your checkbook to say, oh my gosh, do I have money to write this check? Mm. That take that, then you don't have the time to do the other thing. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better to let someone, it's kind of like I could clean my house, right? I mean, and I, you know, it's not one of my favorite things to do, but it's better for me to pay somebody else to clean my house so that I could come and do stuff that I can charge people more for, right? It's the right. same thing. You should be selling, you should be innovating, but you got to have the numbers, right? And so do you actually stuff, talk to people about how much it is to clean their house and how much they can make, you know, in an hour, that type of thing? You break it all down that uh, basic? Well, I mean, obviously you got to get the basics down first, right? But that's when because you really that's a, that's a lot, you know, that's like a lifestyle, you know, that's involved with building numbers, right? Oh, definitely. I mean, the thing is, to me, you, you've got to look at, and I still, to this day, I mean, when I see something, you've got to know what your revenue is, what your costs are. I mean, when I see something, I think, how many tax returns do I have to do to do that? I mean, that's crazy. When I see a big sofa, I'm like, how many tax returns do I have to do? I, I mean, I still... <laughs> I mean, I still think in terms of that because I know my, I know what my cost structure is and I know what my revenue per item is. Mm -hmm. And then to know if you want to, if you want to scale, if you want to hire people, you've got to know how much you're making per hour on that service to be able to decide if you want to bring in a contractor or if you want to hire another employee. Okay. So where would someone start if they have a basic business like life coaching, right? And they're starting to get some clients and they're starting to have expenses. What would you say is the most important thing that they should start with right now? Well, they want to make sure, I mean, this is even the, the, the biggest thing that I think people need to do, especially in that scenario, is make sure that you have an easy way for people to pay, pay you. Because the thing is, if you're doing your business and they have a hard time, you know, giving you a credit card or you're like, oh, well, let me send you this link or, you know, it's hard. If there's any resistance and people being, being able to pay, you've just lost a sale sometimes, right? Oh, wow. So, Good advice. You know, I mean, so getting your system in place so that there's no, there's no like exit point when they're trying to pay. Because, you know, we all have buyer's remorse. Have you ever walked into a store and loved a sofa and then you got home and you're like, ah, crap, you know, I hope I can cancel this. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah. want to make it easier. And we had that early on actually with what women want when we had with over 40 females when we first started the company. We had a website where there were so many clicks. Click, 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 click. You had to pay and you had to register and you had to click here and you had to click again and then you had to, you know, put some more information in and then, and then it, you built all that out and then it didn't go through and it was maddening you know and that exactly. wasn't even a high ticket item some of the memberships that we had so exactly you're right and people got really upset because i mean if you've got to track one thing to me the revenue is the biggest thing and because you want to be looking at you know where where the revenue is going you know a life coach like something like that i mean i still say that excel i mean you know i have a few clients that still keep up with their stuff in excel if it's just them they're just selling their time maybe they're selling some packages or whatever but their only expenses are you know hey i use my home i have my cell phone i have my auto i mean some people can use excel i say jump onto something that's more going to create actually a profit and loss for you 
um, like a Quicken. I mean, not Quicken. I, well, some clients use Quicken. You don't really hear about that anymore. But QuickBooks is so, so inexpensive. The online version is like, I don't know. I don't know how cheap it is, like $25 a month or something like that. Um, and if, you, if that's too complicated for you, then get someone that for very, very inexpensively can accumulate that information for you. Okay. And you were talking about, let's see, the leaks in your business, right? The leaks right, right. The, the I can imagine the most obvious to me would be joining a membership and kind of forgetting about that extra 10 or $15 or whatever it is a month um, that you don't use anymore, that type of thing. What other are some other leaks that we don't, people like me don't know about or realize right well it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of the leaks are things like that where you pay for something or you signed up one time and then it renews the next year and you don't really remember that it renews and i think people now especially because we do so much stuff electronically mm -hmm. we are letting a lot of those recurring charges happen and not just from not just from memberships but for a social media thing that you signed up for you know and so i tell people a, a lot of time you know how when you go to a health per coach maybe i don't know if Catherine makes people do this but it, they say write down everything that you've that you've eaten for the past 14 days I have people do that too you know not what you've eaten but look at pull the last three months of your credit card statements and your you know bank accounts and all that kind of stuff and just look and see what's on there that, that you've missed one thing I like to do that's cool is have them highlight different things in different colors like dining be one color and you know office and then you can really see with the colors you're like oh my god we're eating out a ton you know which is a very huge leak for most people People. I mean, you could eat at home a lot less expensively, but I'll tell you that's one place where I, I tend to overspend a little bit just because of time factor. I mean, again, you've got to look at your time versus the money kind of thing. But one thing that people don't realize it's huge a leak and it this impacts your business because you're, you can't, and I think we've talked about this before, you can't have a rocking business, I don't think. And I, I'm just, I'm sure this is just universally most financial people would say, if your business finances are, I mean, if your personal finances are messed up, you really can't have strong business finances because it, unless you're like a big corporation where they're totally separate entities, but most of the people I run into, even with ones with pretty big sales, their business and their personal are very much interrelated and man, your credit score has a huge impact. That's a huge leak. I was talking to a client recently and they had some dings on their credit and they couldn't get a credit card. I mean, at all, and, and if they could, it was going to be only like $10,000 and it was going to be like 26% interest or something. You know, you can't grow your business if you don't have access to capital. And if you don't have good credit, you, you can't get the capital. Your insurances are more expensive. People don't realize your health insurance is impacted by your credit score, your life insurance, your car insurance and things like that. And if all those things add up to 10 or 20 or 15, you know, 30% more, then you've got to make more money in your business or you've got to spend money somewhere else, save money somewhere else. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you offer as a tool for a plan um, as far as working with you? Like, I, I'm sure you have something where you sit people down and you have to fill out all of these, you know, um, I guess, oh, right. yeah. well, we have like a background information or just steps or, or what, 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 how do you do that? We have a couple of different ways. How we work with business owners is we have, um, like where we bring, we, it's about a three hour process, not all at one time, but I'll have either me or one of my team will kind of just interview them on what are you doing with your business now? Because I mean, if it's working, we're not going to make, I mean, we're not going to, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. Well, but we want to go broke, big. We, we don't want just working. We want to expand. <laughs> but so, but then we want to build on again, if your foundation is even, even somewhat good, we want to build the floors on top of it. If it's bad, we're just going to kick it away and start all over again. But most of the time clients don't have anything. I mean, seriously, they're not doing anything at all. I mean, they're, I mean, you wonder why people get all freaked out in January and February. It's because they haven't done their stuff all year long and they know they've got to get their tax return information together. So they stop selling. They stop doing anything they need to do because they're spending two months catching up on a whole year's worth of stuff. Oh, I would geez. say that's the first thing people should do is get a bookkeeping system, whether it be an outside one or if you get like we also do help clients um, set up QuickBooks and train them on how to use it if they want to. And that's fine. I don't think it's the best use of time for most people, but I mean, we can certainly teach them how to use it. Excellent. I love that. And what about um, as far as, you know, planning for the future? I mean, I know when I hear projections and <laughs> all, of these, all of this lingo, you know, I, sometimes I don't understand it, but I do understand how important it can be to ask the question to yourself, 
where am I, where do I want to be in six months? Where do mm -hmm. I want to be in a year, two years, 10 years? And sometimes it feels like fantasy where you want to be. But I know if you have a goal, um, that filling in the blanks to get to it is a lot easier. Isn't that right? Definitely. Definitely. It's kind of like losing weight. I think it's very related. You know, how all the success factors in any area of your life are very much the same. I mean, if you say, okay, Monday, I'll start my diet. Okay. It's Monday. I'll start my diet next Monday. It's the same thing with your, with your business and with your, and with your goals, your financial goals. Don't you think? I mean, so you right. almost have to have step by those, step. you know, have the, have the planning. Right. And, and when's the best time to start planning? I mean, as far as if you're thinking from your, you know, I want to, when I'm going to retire, obviously when we first get out of college and we start doing this, it's great to start with a little amount, but the next best time is today, right? If you haven't done it already, um, because it does take a lot of time. And one of the things I talk about is the, that I talk with clients about is the different types of revenue streams. And I think I will get into that some in the, in the breakout it just depends on, um, I, I can, you know, it's different it's types of revenue stream, meaning what? Well, to me, you've got, you've got to look at, whatever your business is, and I think there's three different ways you can make money in your business. I say that there's a fourth way that everybody should be doing. If they're a direct seller, if they're a service business, if they're a product business, in your revenue stream of your business needs to be a place for investments, I think. Because whatever you're doing, you've got to be putting some of that aside for the treasure chest for the future, right? So if you're in, in the other revenue streams are, you know, services, our dollars for hours, I think everybody needs to have some kind of leveraged um, pricing package that they do, which would be like group programs or um, things like that. And then some kind of recurring revenue, which would be like a membership or something like that. But every business actually can have all four of those types of revenue. But everybody wants to forget that fourth one, which is the investing in, in using the money that I've earned in my business to now grow a nest egg for myself. And you advise them on how to do that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, because depending on, again, going back to the basics, if you're an LLC or if you're an S Corp or if you're a sole proprietor, there's different vehicles that you can use that you can maximize. So, and that's one thing that, and, and one thing that um, I've been talking a lot about because this is the most major tax change that we've had in, in the 25 years I've been doing it and really in the 30 years since the last big tax change in, in 1986. I mean, there've been tax law changes, but not so strikingly as there have been this year and owning a business is like the most major thing you can do to increase your wealth and to get financial freedom and it's even more beneficial with the new tax law especially those of us that have llc's s corp sole proprietor 1099 direct sales all of those are huge huge opportunities and if your accountant that you're dealing with now is not talking to you and calling you and say hey we need to chat about how to maximize this then maybe you need a new accountant <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like it. So now I'm looking at the Facebook Live. Um, I'm, I'm apologize to the, to the Zoom attendees. I don't know where the comment box went, but if you're watching Facebook Live, I would love for anyone to post a comment that you have for Deborah because we are almost through with our business by the numbers preview. And like I said, I'm so excited to hear really the rest of, of what the plan is for you know business owners to move forward in their business and to go big and to grow it because it can be a lot more complicated than we think but it is also a lot simpler than we think with someone like you oh definitely i mean the fact of the matter is business is very is very simple i mean you have a product that somebody wants you sell it for the right amount and you sell it to enough people right that's that's business right the problem is it's not easy just like it's not easy to lose 20 pounds. It's not easy to say, to not buy that shirt today and say for retirement. It's the same thing. Business is very, very simple. It's just not easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, I don't see any questions. I don't know if we have a delay on Facebook. I know we have a little bit of a delay. I don't see any questions at the moment, but I'm gonna take this time now to turn to the conference sure. and ask everyone to join us in October. It's October 19th through the 21st. It's three days this year as opposed to two days last year. We, we had so much fun last year in two days that we decided to lengthen the conference. So it's going to be really amazing. And our VIP Leadership Development Day is the first day during the afternoon before general registration. So if you'd like to join us, the theme is Go Big. And you can go to whatwomenwantcomp.com. There's, I think, 29 and a half hours left for the Go Big discount, $100 off. That's the code. Go Big Discount, and I just put the link in this Facebook post, and I put the code 
in the post as well. Perfect. So if you want to get on over to that and save your spot, if you're coming in from out of town, our room block is filling up really quick. We have so far women from 11 states was the last count that have registered. People are traveling in, traveling in from all over the country to Very see good. speakers like Deborah Daniel. So it is so exciting. So I just want to give a heads up on that. So grab your ticket now and I'm going to check the Facebook page and see if we have any more questions. Deborah, you are a rock star from Crystal Fleischman. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's one of my friends here in Atlanta. <laughs> Excellent. And our Long Island chapter director, Stephanie Piazza, is loving it. Uh, my cousin, Tyla. Hi, Tyla. And we have a lot of Greta. Hello, Greta. A lot of people watching us now. Catherine Morales put a, put a laughing face with tears on. We were probably talking up about uh, checking leaks maybe in our, right. <laughs> in our bank account. I don't know what we were talking about at that point. Mm -hmm. um, let's see who else we have here. Susan Mikowski, thank you for coming on. Okay, so I don't see any questions, but you know what? I know Deborah is going to be checking this thread uh, tonight and, and sure. after we get off on here to answer your questions and anything else that you may have. Deborah, did you want to say any parting comments? No, well, I think the, the parting comment is to me, and, and this sums up the business by the numbers, and I think this conference as well. Um, I heard this recently, but it was referring to something else, but I think it really refers here that I think you can, by mistake, make five figures in your business and you can probably make six figures if you can sell well but you're not going to go big and get anywhere close to the multi six figures or seven figures if you don't really get your if you don't get the foundation set up right if you aren't and part of that foundation is one knowing your numbers I think is huge and I think also surrounding yourself with people that are like-minded and that's why I think this conference is so so important because I think the people that are going to be that are going to be there the ones that I know that are already registered the speakers that I see that I see are just are, are setting us up for that go big and you're just not going to be able to do that if you don't have the foundational numbers and people that you need to hang out with that's well, well said. I didn't even want to talk after that because you put it so eloquently. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you for, you know, being one of our leading presenters and sponsors for the conference. We really appreciate your support and I'm excited. I, I can't, you know, I can't wait to hear what everyone really has to speak about. And, and like you said, everyone involved is just high end. They have quality things to teach and say, and we have top leaders from all around the country coming in to uh, teach us about personal and professional development. And Deborah, your, your breakout session that you're doing really is the perfect combination of that. So I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone from, oh, we have some thank yous, Katie Karlovitz. <laughs> oh, here's the comment box in Zoom. Finally, I don't know what happened to that before. It, Katie Karlovitz is saying hi and, and thanking us. So thank you everyone for listening. We're going to uh, send this replay out too so everyone can hear it on their own time. And thank you, Deborah, so much for hey, coming on tonight. Thank you, Judy. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the conference. Thank I can't you. wait for the wonderful women we're going to see and all the great information we're going to have. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Good deal. Thanks. Bye. Bye.